it's finally starting to feel like fall. It only took us getting to October to start feeling like that. Katie LaSalle is here. Katie, it's going to be a nice day. The sun is out, things like that, and it feels like fall. So nice and seasonable, yes. seasonable. Is See, that the right word? Yeah. Close enough. Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Today it's going to be high 60s to right around 70 degrees. So that autumn weather settling in here across the state. Sun is shining from Westminster. We did pick up some light mountain snow over the last couple of days. And you can see this morning a nice light layer there on the top of Long's Peak. We will warm up all across the state, though. A lot of our mountain towns back to the 50s and low 60s over the next several days. We're right now at 62 degrees downtown Denver and winds pretty gusty sustained from the southeast at 15 miles per hour. Hour. Elsewhere, it's cold over Berthoud Pass at 27 degrees, but we're now seeing some low 60s. Boulder up through Greeley, 59 right now in Castle Rock with 40s to low 50s filtering into our central and northern mountain towns there at the valley level. Winds won't be quite as gusty as what we've seen over the past several days over Colorado's high country, but still last recorded wind gusts over Berthoud Pass around 31 miles per hour. Relatively calm conditions over southern Colorado. We are under a mostly clear sky here over the Denver area. Pretty quiet radar and satellite. Any shower our activity in the mountains has tapered off, but some light sprinkles right now just south near Lyman that'll taper off here quickly. Temperatures today high 60s to right around 70. That includes Boulder, Highlands Ranch and over the northeastern plains. 50s this afternoon from Leadville to Aspen, 63 degrees in Eagle with low 70s. Pueblo down through Lamar, out through Burlington. So a cool, pretty pleasant fall day on tap for this Wednesday. As we take you through our statewide future cast, winds will calm and the evening hours will be under a mostly clear sky with dry conditions all across the region tonight. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off with temperatures in the 20s and 30s into Colorado's high country, 40s and 50s across the plains. But we are bracing for our next dry, cold front. It'll roll in on Friday. You can see the winds start to shift in from the north northeast and we will be seeing some chillier conditions, especially into the mountains with a freeze watch set to take effect tonight through early tomorrow morning from Gypsum to Carbondale and Glenwood Springs. Also some colder conditions across southwestern Colorado and a freeze warning will be in effect from Alamosa to center later on this evening. But as we look ahead at our extended future cast, we're not talking freezing temperatures just yet here over the metro area. This cool front will roll in from the northwest and it'll bring in some dry but chillier air to start the day and then into the afternoon low 60s. A few isolated showers as we get into this weekend over our San Juan mountain range, but then a ridge of high pressure builds back in and we are talking above average temperatures. Near 70 degrees for tomorrow afternoon, then cooler on Friday, then a big warm up mid 70s on Saturday with near 80 degrees Sunday through early next week. All right, Katie, thank you.